Alley is a community platform that helps creators connect with like-minded people and develop lifetime meaningful relationships. I'm Jason Saltzman, the CEO and founder of Alley. My experience with startups over the past 15 years has given me the unique opportunity to connect with the brightest founders in the world. One thing always remains constant, the unbelievable knowledge we get from each other by sharing our stories. Join us while we learn from founders what it is really like to start a business, the hurdles they have overcome, and the lessons they've learned along the way. This is Resilience. This is our first official interview, founder interview for our Resilience program in our brand new Cambridge space. So we have this awesome flag in the background. And essentially what it means is like this is, this state hasn't even really defined itself yet. Seeing the different environments from Boston, from New York City into Cambridge, and now we're in Washington DC meeting an amazing founder. So please introduce yourself. Hi, I'm Janice Omadecki, and I'm the CEO and founder of The Mentor Method. We create inclusive workplace cultures through mentoring diverse tech talent. Awesome, so break that down a little bit. So, so, so what, is, what is it that you actually do? Yeah, so let me take it like two steps back as well. So right now what we're seeing is this big push in tech for more diversity and inclusion, right? And I think companies are making moves in terms of hiring more diversely, but everybody knows when they're the token. I've felt it as a woman of color in tech, other people have felt it. And so what we're doing is focusing on the inclusion and making sure that companies aren't just hiring women and minorities for the sake of hiring them, they're really being intentional, authentic, and motivated to be accountable. So we do that through using mentoring. So the way we work is um, we use mentoring as a tool to help connect companies that are seeking to hire more diversely to the most badass future of tech. So we have an algorithm that matches based on personalities, values, and skill set. That way it's not like those really awkward, stale corporate mentoring programs that just matched on things that you can't control. Right. What is the worst thing that you could think about that's happened thus far in growing your business? I think the worst thing for me is the... I've gotten some pretty interesting advice that wasn't helpful. It was just more character assassinating than anything. All right. Um, I think that would probably be the worst. Thing you that's unwrap happened. that a little bit. Like, what do you mean by like character assassination? Yeah. So as I mentioned before, early stage startup, and so with that, I'm on constantly out doing networking things, going to breakfasts and whatnot. And so there was one for minority entrepreneurs. So I was at this networking breakfast, and there may be ten of us at a table, and we're supposed to share our pain points and an ask. And so my pain point was, as an early stage entrepreneur, people always say, "Well, your friends and family." round is one of your most important that'll lead to your seed round and your series a god willing and so i was sharing that for me as a first generation american my network is not robust enough for me to use a friends and family round most of my friends and family are making two dollars a day in the congo got it and this well-known entrepreneur looks me square in the face and is like well maybe you should have spent time in college spending time with people who don't look and smell like you get the fuck out of here no in front of 10 other people at like 8 in the morning at, yeah, your face dropped, exactly, at this networking breakfast. I think everybody that's watching this, their faces should drop. <laughs> and if they don't, there's something wrong with them. Yeah. And so I made a joke because I bounced back in that moment. In my head, I was thinking a whole lot of bad things, trust me. But, you know, in that moment, I was like, well, if everybody smelled like Chanel number no. 5, the world would be a much that's better place. That's what's up. But it really hurt my feelings. Yeah. Um, I mean, obviously entrepreneurship, feelings are never a factor in it, but it really, it set me back for maybe five hours, which is a long time in entrepreneurship land. Okay. Um, just because this person is well known, I've had coffee with them before, like they took a liking to me, so it seemed like a major switch. And I feel as though, especially in entrepreneurship and being a minority entrepreneur, we should be pushing the ladder down to help each other. You have to follow your internal compass. You know your business better than anybody. so. Practice that discernment in terms of knowing if somebody's advice is actually going to be helpful. Because sometimes people just don't know how to give you feedback, yeah, right? Yeah, for sure. So, I mean, sometimes somebody will say something about your business model, and you're like, dang, that was rude, but okay. And you and really don't get what I'm doing, obviously, yeah. yeah. Yeah, but when it comes to, like, that comment that this person made, remember why you are up at 4.30 in the morning? 
remember why you're working yourself to the bone and maybe not seeing your friends and family as much. Um, and just practice that discernment and just keep going. Don't let it stop you. If anything, use it as a motivator for when you do become successful and you surpass your friends and family around, use that as a, oh, remember like a year ago when that asshole made that comment to me? Hmm, wonder where they are because I'm here now and I'm helping people. So what's next? Like, what's the future like? Like, where are you going in the next like three, six months? Big picture? Yeah, what's world domination. That's what's up. Um, is the summary of that. So right now we're making a big push in the enterprise space. We've okay. noticed that there are a lot of companies coming out that have these magic pills, right, that will solve all of the world's diversity and inclusion problems. I applaud their effort, but I think that you have to be focused, and our focus is on inclusion. So we're looking for um, 10 companies to join our upcoming pilot. If you'd like to be a part of the new inclusion movement, please follow us at The Mentor Method. And Janice, thank you so much for coming out. Thank you for having thank, me. Thank you for being our first official DC interview for our Resilience series. I couldn't think of a better person after I met you to start and kick this off over here. And thank you everybody as always for watching. This is DC, this is kick ass, this is resilience, this is real shit that's happening in real time that's going to change the world. Thank you so much for watching. We'll be here next time. Thank you.